Hello, 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 savvy parents. This is Dr. Tanisha Burke here with you again, helping you to raise healthy children while enjoying this beautiful experience called parenting. So today I just thought I would do a quick call on how or we are destroying our children when we rescue and when we pamper them. Now, I just decided to talk about this topic because thinking about what happened with the revelation that came out in the US last week about uh, parents paying for people to do their children's tests, um, SAT exams, uh, photoshopping their children on faces on athletic bodies and so on as a way of rescuing their children to help them to get into these elite schools. Now, part of it is part of parents' ego to try and get, um, you know, the bragging rights that my child is going to Yale, my child is going to Stanford and so on. But the other element is also um, doing everything for your children. And I would, I would assume or I would guess that the parents who went as far as doing these illegal activities have been rescuing their children for a very long time. This does not happen overnight. So um, in addition to the news, there is this um, interesting article that was published in USA Today. Kids aren't growing up. Shocking new polls say parents are killing children's life skill. Now I'm a positive discipline, uh, certified positive discipline parent educator. And part of positive discipline is to teach children the social skills that they need to thrive and also to discipline them in a way that by using tools that are very effective long term. Now, positive discipline completely goes against everything relating to rescuing children and so on. There are certain elements or there are certain life skills or social skills that you will never, ever, ever uh, master unless you uh, go through the process of the challenges and the difficulties of particular experiences. So what I found, you know, the article goes over what's happening, what happened in the, in the, the um, university scandal. But it also said further down, 76%, so they're doing a, um, uh, study of parents, 76% of parents reminded their adult children of deadlines that they need to meet, including schoolwork. 74% make appointments for them, including doctor's appointments. 15% of parents with children in college have texted or called them to wake them up so they didn't sleep through a class or a test. This is fascinating, absolutely fascinating. 22% help them study for college tests. 16% help to write or um, to write all or part of a job or internship application. 14% help them, uh, told them which career to pursue. 14% help them to get jobs or internship through professional network. 12% gave more than 500 per month for rent or daily expenses. I mean, this is not um, shocking. Parents who do these, so you know you have, they've mentioned the helicopter parents, the ones who hover over their children to make sure everything is done. But now you have what is called the snow plowers. So these are parents as described in this article who basically clear the way for their children. And they think that they're doing it for the best interest of their children. What I want to talk to you about now, parents, is that that's not in your children's best interest. Learning uh, resilience, learning perseverance, having self, high self-confidence and self-esteem, does all those things do not happen in thin air at all. You, you don't learn or experience these things by watching somebody vicariously or somebody just doing, clearing the way for you. There are certain life skills, parents, that we need to um, master. And the only way to master them is through challenges, is through disappointments. So we need some form of resistance. You cannot develop resilience. You cannot develop self-determination um, and so on 
in a space of comfort. It does not happen. And I understand the psychology behind it with a lot of parents is that they went through challenging times as children and they don't want their children to experience challenges. They don't want their children to feel sad. They don't want their children to feel disappointed or angry or neglected by friends and so on. And so they try to create this picture perfect experience, but that's not what life is really about. Now, in order for your, your child to learn to be accountable, to learn time management skills, they have to go through things themselves. So parents, when your children have left their homework at home or their lunch bag at home and call you to pick it up or to bring it to school, your response should be no. But he's going to get hungry or she's going to get a failing grade. So be it. That's the only way they're going to learn how to be accountable. That's the only way they're going to learn how to be responsible and manage their time well. The thing is, we, a lot of parents have bought into this idea that it's our responsibility to make our children happy. No, it's not. And it is our responsibility to guide them and equip them with the necessary skills and tools that they need to carry on through life's journey so that they can become competent, capable human beings as they go through their journey. It is not our responsibility to make them happy at all. Now, when we have taken up that responsibility of making our children happy, you know what happens, parents? They are going to hold us to account for it. They are going to come to us all the time. I am not happy. I am this and that. And they're going to want us to do whatever to make them happy. Being happy should be an internally motivated aspect, not externally motivated. So what I try to explain to parents is, do you want to be in your 60s and 70s still rescuing your children, making appointments for them, you know, trying to get jobs for them and so on? No. Our children cannot become competent. They cannot become capable, responsible, and have self-confidence. Self-confidence and um, self-confidence and the resilience. You know when you develop resilience, it's when you go through like, oh wow, that was such a difficult experience. And I didn't know I had it in my, I didn't know I had it in me to overcome that. And if I can overcome that, I think I can overcome anything else. You are robbing your children of that beautiful experience when you are a snowplower and moving everything out of their way. Your children end up becoming extremely anxious because they don't know if they have the ability to overcome certain things because they were not given the opportunity to do it. And I understand parents' um, intention. You don't want your child to suffer. But the human experience comes with challenges. And for you to evolve as a human being, you have to go through challenges, setbacks, and failure to evolve into somebody that is very competent. That doesn't come from simply that doesn't come from simply watching um, someone go through that process. And the other thing that parents tend to try to avoid is their children making mistakes. Now, the school system is just as guilty. You, you know, everybody needs to get straight A's and so on. But parents, um, Mistakes are beautiful, beautiful opportunities to learn and grow. You learn from your mistakes that this doesn't work for me next time I need to try this. You don't get those experiences. You don't get that self-actualization from staying in a nice comfort zone. And when we try to not make our children make mistakes, they don't reach their optimal potential because, for example, a lot of children, when parents, you know, have done everything for them, they are now afraid to do anything challenging for people to realize, oh, maybe I'm not as smart as they thought I was. 
and some I don't want to do that. So you see, we rob our children of, um, you know, having um, experiences that will challenge them to become better human beings. Right. So I'd love to hear about uh, your comments and your ideas about this whole thing of rescuing our children. So be sure to comment, leave a comment in the comment section and also be sure to share it with your friends and family who have uh, children. These are discussions that we need to have. There are a lot of skills that we cannot have or we cannot master from a space of comfort. And we are robbing our children of time management skills, resilience, self-determination, internal motivation, having grit, all of that we're robbing our children of. We're robbing them of being responsible, being accountable. When we do everything for them, they don't learn how to master any of those necessary skills when we take it upon ourselves to rescue them and pamper them and do everything for them. All right. So what positive discipline does is teach you how you can teach your children to accept that opportunity mistakes are opportunities to learn and grow. And uh, once you make a mistake, it is a perfect time to ask, what have I learned from this experience? What have I learned about myself from this experience? What can I do differently to have a different outcome in the future? Right? When we uh, let our children fail, when we let them go to school and sit there and figure out how they're going to eat because they've left, left their lunch bag at home, they learn to be more responsible, which means they're going to become more self aware, in, such as packing their bags the night before, checking their bags before they go out. So they, 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 they develop their self awareness, they develop um, being responsible. And also, if they don't do their homework or their projects and they, and they miss the deadline, how to be um, handle time management. These are skills we all need, especially in adulthood. So if you were a parent who you found that you're kind of guilty of rescuing your children in some way, make sure that you join my parenting workshops, uh, my parenting groups. I'm having a parenting workshop March 30th here in Berlin. Be sure to sign up so you can learn the different strategies that you need to help your children so you, can, so you don't continue the process of rescuing them. All right, so don't forget to like, comment, and share, and, and also share with your friends and families who have children so we can continue with this the discussion. All right, take care, parents, and goodbye for, for now. Don't rescue your children. Don't pamper them. When you do that, you're holding them back. Take care.